The owners of a restaurant open for nearly half a century have announced they're closing the doors. They say the COVID pandemic and current staffing shortage forced them to shut down. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Ann Nallred. In for Mike Bush. The owners of Balducci's in Maryland Heights say they simply cannot find enough help. Five on your side's Alex Fees is live outside of the restaurant this evening. This is a decades old restaurant. Generations of families have gone there, Alex. That's right, Ann Kelly. 46 years to be precise. It's a familiar refrain we've heard from a lot of owners in the restaurant industry lately. They all want to know, where are the workers? We are proud of what we did and we're proud that we were able to employ so many people. Like many other restaurant owners these days, Rick and Carol Balducci would like to be able to employ more people, but they can't find enough workers. Everything. We need managers, we need cooks, we need servers. We just cannot find help. We'll, we'll get applications and then they won't show up for the interview. But we don't even get that many applications, to be honest with you. At Webster University, human resources and management professor Dr. Julie Palmer says food service is one of many industries that is readjusting. You know, people say that the assistance that people were getting has caused um, us to not want to work, but it's way more complicated than that. Many, many people have spent a lot, lot more time at home and have reevaluated where they, in fact, want to spend their time. And they're choosing not to work, right? In Missouri, Governor Mike Parson opted out of federal unemployment programs designed to prompt people to go back to work. So, Dr. Palmer, is it safe to say then that the unemployment thing, Missouri opting out of that federal program, did not work? I would, I would argue that... Um, as far as, you know, as far as prompting people to go back to work is concerned? Correct. I don't think it had any lasting effect. Have always loved our meals at Balducci's. Your restaurant will be greatly missed. Rick says he was doing okay until he saw all the comments on Facebook. My family and friends and I went here all the time as kids and continued into adulthood. And it brought tears to my eyes. It, it really hit me that maybe we did a few things right. On a positive note, the Balducci, Balducci sold their winery out in Augusta several months ago. So with this development, for them, that's pretty much a wrap. They're getting ready to retire. Live in Maryland Heights, Alex Fees, Five on Your Side.